What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I am back today to give you guys a review of the NASA collaboration with Vans on the old school in the true white colorway. These dropped on November 2nd for 85 US dollars or 90 dollars here in Canada. Alongside this white colorway, NASA and Vans collaborated together to release also a firecracker or orange colorway, as well as a couple other silhouettes like the slip on for kids, the skate highs, as well as a bunch of other accessories and clothing. When I first saw pictures of the collaboration, this one was definitely the one that first caught my eye. And that seems to be the public opinion as well, as this true white colorway was the fastest to sell out in stores. So this shoe takes your classic Vans old school silhouette, and the upper is constructed using a very soft true white colored leather. You'll notice that the toe box has a very clean and minimalistic appearance to it. However, as you move on to the mid panel of the shoe, first off with the lateral side, Instead of the traditional van stripe, in this case we simply have the stitch line that outlines where the stripe normally would be. And then printed on top of the leather we have this NASA branding. On the medial side however this is different, so this side actually has this overlay which is constructed out of the same white leather found on the rest of the body of the shoe. Running up the center of the shoe where the eyelets are, you'll see that there's these metallic white colored eyelets. As for the tongue, so this is a nylon tongue colored in grey. At the very top we have this orange pull tab and it reads shuttle on the right foot and mission on the left foot. In terms of the laces, so these are just your standard oval shaped laces in white. As we move on to the heels, this is definitely my favorite part about this shoe. So we have this American flag patch that's stuck onto the body of the shoe using velcro. So if you guys really want to be creative, you could technically take off this patch and add on whatever sort of velcro patch you wanted. One thing I want to point out is this collar area of the shoe. This is actually unfinished, and this exposes the foam that's sandwiched in between the interior and the exterior. Visually speaking, while this looks very unique, this actually was sort of sharp and it irritated the back of my foot a little bit. This isn't necessarily going to be the case for everyone, but it's just one thing to consider if you guys are planning on picking up these shoes. The inside liner of this shoe is lined with this orange colored leather, and then as we move on to the insoles, so these are actually very dope. So the insoles have what looks like a blueprint or schematics of a rocket ship, and then we have this Vans logo on the heel in red. So the upper of these Vans old schools sits atop this off-white colored midsole. You'll see that on the forefoot, as well as on the back heel, we have this rib pattern. And in the very center of the back, we have your classic red Vans logo. In addition, on the medial side of the midsole, we do have the words, for the benefit of all, and this is printed directly onto the midsole. As I flip the shoes over to the bottom, so here we have your classic Vans waffle outsole. In this case, however, it sort of has this gradient effect to it, where it features different tones of orange and brown. So I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to represent. My personal theory is that it could represent the fire as the rocket lifts off into space, or some other people have said that it represents different tones of the earth. One way or another though, it is a nice added touch. In terms of sizing, so these old schools do fit a little bit on the bigger side. My feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I picked these up in a size 10. With that said however, the size 10 was a little bit roomy, but I'm not sure if it was big enough that I'd be able to go down half a size. If you're not able to try them on in store, i just recommend sticking true to size, but just be warned it might be a little bit roomy in the toes, but not excessively so. From a cushioning standpoint, so as most of us know, Vans typically aren't the most well cushioned shoes. However, they will feel very stable to the ground, and you'll have a lot of ground feel. But if you're expecting very pillowy and very plush cushioning, then this probably isn't going to be the shoe for you. So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Overall, I'm very pleased with this Vans and NASA collab. This shoe specifically, I find it's very, very clean. The colorway, you can pretty much rock with anything you want. 
and I think that it retains the core look of the old school, but incorporates just enough touches of NASA, specifically this heel on the back, which I really love, that makes it really unique. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the NASA and Vans old school in the true white colorway. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and check out my website as well at seangoca So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.